as you can tell from the title of the video, I will be talking about Alabama walk-on defensive back Levi Wallace, who is a redshirt senior. And the reason why I wanted to talk about Levi Wallace is because he's a guy who impressed me last year when I saw him come in. He's not a scholarship guy, but he came in during the Auburn game and the SEC championship game when Marlon Humphrey got hurt. And he stepped in and he played so well and played the receivers really well. And honestly, he probably played the ball better than Humphrey did. That's the thing about Humphrey. When he learns how to play the ball well, he'll really turn into an elite cornerback. But he really struggled doing that at times. But Levi Wallace, man, I swear this guy must have just like soaked in Nick Saban's mind and just applied that to his ability to play defensive back because he has impressed me. His number is number 39, so look out for number 39, Levi Wallace of the Alabama Crimson Tide. They call him the technician. The teammates call him the technician because of how much uh, effort he puts into making sure that he's doing the position right. He's got the right footwork. He's using his hands well. He knows how to play the routes. He knows how to lead the receiver the way he wants to. All those different things are required when you're playing DB, you know, making sure that he's the right amount of steps away. He's doing it well. And to be honest, I talked about it in the uh, the 8A game early this year when he came in and he played. He played some of the receivers or most of the receivers better than the other DBs did, specifically Trevon Diggs, who they're trying to develop right now and to be in the other outside corner. And honestly, I would personally play Levi Wallace <laughs> over Trayvon Diggs at the moment. Unless Trayvon Diggs, man, those sirens again, they're nonstop. But either way, I would play Levi Wallace over Trayvon Diggs at the moment, you know, provided that Trayvon Diggs is, you know, still needs some more time to develop. I wouldn't be opposed to letting Levi Wallace play while Trayvon Diggs is still learning some of the ropes. Because he's just that good. When I saw him play against Auburn SEC Championship game, Auburn and the SEC Championship game, he was sticking with the receivers. And he was covering them up. They didn't really throw his way. And when they tried to, it wasn't much success. Uh, Saban himself has said that they are actively trying to create a role for Levi Wallace. Um, they've been experimenting with him at the star position, which is the nickelback, uh, which is where Tony Brown plays. So that makes me wonder, you know, uh, will they try to get Tony Brown on the outside or maybe at another spot, maybe at some safety? That would be cool, too. If they can put Levi at star and let Tony Brown kind of roam around and do something else, too, that could work. Um, they, but they've been experimenting with him at star and at corner. I like this a lot, and I'm just pulling for the kid. Uh, if you don't know, if you haven't seen Levi Wallace, go watch the Auburn game from last year, the SEC Championship game, the spring game. Like I say, he's number 39. You'll see him. If you're watching the games, he came in after Humphrey got hurt. If you're watching the spring games, he I think he kind of came in maybe second, third series, or maybe even on the second team defense. It depends, but he played these guys really well. Um, Saban basically confirmed what I said about him being a good player in his interview. He did an interview recently where they, uh, they asked about Levi Wallace or they asked about the defensive backs, and Saban talked about him. Um, Saban confirmed what I said. When Levi has an opportunity to play, he stepped up. And Saban himself said that. He said, when we've given Levi an opportunity to play, uh, he did really well. Like I said, I'm going to keep saying this. He replaced Humphrey, and he played better than him <laughs> in those games. Um, and he did all of this. This is important. He did all of this while only running about a 4 6 40. That's slow for a defensive back. I mean, relatively, that's pretty quick, like in terms of just regular people. But for a football player playing defensive back at a Division One school at Alabama, that's slow. Uh, Marlon Humphrey ran a 4-3-40. Anthony Avery runs a low 4-3-40. These guys can move. And he's running a 4-6-40, but he's strong as well. He's benching like 315 pounds. He like he came in 6 feet 170. Now he's 6'185". Uh, so he's put in the work. He he had to work really, really hard to get where he is now. And this shows you, too, like in 2015, he ran a 4.69. So he ran a 4.740. And then this past spring, when he did his testing, he ran a 4.59. So he got a whole second faster. 
he's putting in the work. As I said, he runs about a 4 six forty, but he's doing all of this, and he's playing really well. I like it. I, and, it, and honestly, the speed is probably what's preventing him from being, or at least from to just go ahead and put him at first team corner because they like they want speed there just in case you go against somebody who's burning. Um, but in terms of like you need a pinch or you need someone who's just going to play the routes well and do what he needs to do, Levi Wallace is the guy. I like him for it. Like I said, he's playing well. He, he's improving. He's a hard worker. That's what people like. Um, in the first fall scrimmage, yeah, just a week or two ago, he intercepted Mac Jones on a play where he anticipated the receiver's route, stepped in front of the receiver, and intercepted Jones. Um, and the team is raving about Anthony Averitt, the best corner on the team. He said this. He said he is definitely one of our top cover guys. The best corner on the team said that about Levi Wallace. And he and kind of ended. He said, "Yeah, he just plays everything correctly and right, which is what you expect out of a technician in a defensive backfield." Uh, that's basically it. What I have to say about Levi Wallace. I just wanted to share like my enthusiasm for Levi Wallace with you guys. Uh, you may not even see him play as much in the FSU game. Um, they don't run as many wide receiver sets unless he gets that corner. Unless he gets that corner spot, or he at least comes in and plays some corner. Uh, you may not see him, but I'm looking forward to see what Levi Wallace does in the 2017 season. Thanks for watching this video. Alabama fans, if you've heard of Levi Wallace or you know who I'm talking about, give me your honest thoughts on Levi Wallace. Are you as high on him as I am? Uh, have you just not heard much about him and you're interested to see now? Or just let me know. Put it in the comment section. FSU fans, uh, if you're watching the video, uh, I don't know. Just let me know what you think as well. I would love to interact and talk with you guys. I love seeing your comments on the videos. I like responding to them. So, see you for the next one. Thanks for paying attention. Looking forward to this game.